Hi, Cancer. Um, I'm, uh, this is Lunar, Log Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju. Happy birthday, Cancer. This is your birthday reading for your birthday season from July, I'm sorry, June 20th, which has already passed, into July 22nd, 2024. Happy birthday. Many blessings to you. I hope it is a wonderful birthday and you get everything you want and more for your birthday season and many blessings throughout the year and for many more to come, okay? You can have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Please, you know, take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Obviously, you know, roles can be reversed. Um, just give about anything. Anything that you need to know from that time frame, beginning, middle, and end. No, actually, they want me to do something different for you. Hold it. They just corrected me, okay? I need a more room then. Okay. Not this deck. No, okay. Hold on, they want something different. Well, they just switched up on me like real hard. So take that as a, I guess a sign. Not that your guys are switching up on you, but there's a, always, usually there's always a reason why they do what they do. The way they do it. So, because it, it's also part of the message. Okay, so we're going to do what is the core issue, whatever the situation is. What is the root cause, what's influencing it. What happened beginning part of June, um before your birthday season, June 2024, what's going to happen through, uh, all of, I guess, all of July 2024, okay? Okay. All right. I will do Cancer versus all 12 Zodiac signs um, at the end of this, okay, as well as guidance, so stick around for that. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit all notifications as well. Check out my Patreon because I will be doing your monthly Patreon reading for July over there. Um, it's for pay patrons for the Ride or Die crew. Also, um, don't forget to um, hashtag tarot and tarot reading because on the 30th of June, I'll be picking reading uh, reader uh, readers. <laughs> you could be a reader. I don't know. I will be picking winners, excuse me, to win a free reading with me um, on the 30th. So I'll pick two from here and two from my paid Patreon members, okay? I think that's it. Oh, we got a lot. I feel like, don't we have like a new moon in your songs coming up soon? I believe we do. I can't, I can't see it from here. It'll be in July, I think. Pay attention to the astrological movements right now. And I don't know about you, Cancer, but... I have been so tired like just very well it's also very hot outside and that usually does it to me but I've been so tired during the beginning of your season I'm like oh my god I just want to go to sleep well <laughs> maybe I'm really tired okay that's also really hot outside so let's see and I'm like getting nice slept so good last night that's the craziest thing and I don't usually take naps maybe I need to take a nap I don't know. like I just got like I don't know, maybe you need to take a nap, okay? What is going on for cancer, please? Obviously, take what resonates, okay? What is a core issue for cancer? Okay, we got the king of wands. So it could be a fire sign, or this, you know, this could be you taking on this energy, okay? But strong Leo, but could also be um, Aries or Sagittarius. That's at the core. The central issue here, or the core issue, okay? What is this root cause of this? Now, the King of Wands isn't, I will clarify this, isn't inherently bad or anything. This is someone who is a leader. They are usually an initiator. They are, for, you know, fire, they're fire sign, right? They are action oriented. Um, if it's a Leo, they're very happy go, luck, happy go lucky, right? And they are also ruled by the fifth house, I believe, like you are. But they can be selfish. They can be. Okay. So. Okay. Well, the root cause of the issue is the Two of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Woo, honey, and the Ten of Swords. Wait. Well, someone's made a decision to expose something. They decided to expose somebody. Somebody's getting exposed, or there. Someone has also maybe try, is thinking of confessing something, either to you you to them or them to somebody else 
this could be you confessing something to somebody but it in the reason now typically this card for me means it's a very very painful ending but for some reason this one because of the confession here this is somebody wants forgiveness from another person so they're making a choice to make a confession i'll have to clarify all right what's influencing this reading for cancer this could be what's at, in the heart of the situation right it, okay three of wands in the reverse somebody here doesn't see some a lot of fire energy and air fire and air i don't have any of your element out here yet which is water by the way well you know that um with its three of wands in reverse this is something that somebody doesn't see coming maybe you got to tell somebody what's on your heart maybe you are really can't stop thinking about another person okay Need a little more room all right, what about the, uh, what happened in June 2024 for Cancer? What is this about? The moon, that is your energy. Cancer, Pisces, could also be Scorpio there. An illusion, deception, a dreams, fantasies, secrets. Also intuition. I mean, you're coming out in your own energy unless you're dealing with another but that you're only coming that out in that energy the beginning part of june 2024 okay i mean what about the rest of july 2024 for cancer the two of cups reverse that is cancer as well but also scorpio and leo and it's in reverse okay high priestess at the bottom cancer pisces scorpio Um, I would really pay attention to your intuition right now. It might be really, really, really on point. Or somebody's is. Somebody here doesn't see something coming, though. That, or they don't see what's influencing this situation or you. You may not see a future with whomever this is. Or they don't see it with you. And there's a confession of that, and that's why it has to end or somebody here is making a confession knowing that it might end, but they're going to try to get forgiveness from somebody that they have wronged, you or them, okay? Somebody, the way it's looking on my table is that the King of Wands in the upright is looking towards the beginning part of June at the moon. So it's looking really towards the past and not towards the future. So if somebody was telling you that they were going to leave somebody for somebody else and choose you, that's not what they're doing. In fact, and don't come for me. I love you. For some of you, they, you, no, for some of you, you might have given this person an ultimatum, tell them or I will, choose me or I'm going to tell them, I'm trying to use it over somebody's head. This is where this person, if this isn't you doing it or receiving this confession, this is where somebody here tells that somebody from their past. The truth about a scenario, the truth about a situation, what really happened so they can take their power back from you directly. Or, you know, maybe this is what somebody is, what's happening to your person or person that you're thinking of. Or maybe you're doing, I don't know. Let's see, what's that King of Wands about? The Empress Reverse, okay. That's, you know, Taurus Libra or Cancer. That's the mother archetype, which is you. I gotta be honest, it, it seems like somebody isn't choosing you. Um, there could be like some type of moon magic, or maybe you're, I mean, you are ruled by the moon, you in Pisces, but there's something about moon magic. Why is that Empress in reverse? The Hierophant. They wanna stay married, or somebody here doesn't see you, they see you differently. So if this is like a third party scenario, no offense, and you're the third party, they don't see you as their empress, their wife. They don't see a future with you. Or you are taking yourself out of the equation so somebody here can make their own decision so they don't, so it's not like you manipulated them into it. Okay. With a higher friend here, this is someone who wants to stay committed to someone. 
No matter what you tell them, no matter if you, I don't recommend you doing moon rituals or love spells on nobody. Those usually backfire, honey. Okay. Show me this, um, what's, show me the two of wands in reverse. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. We got Virgo energy. This person, you feel like this person is choosing to not heal something or to, this is someone who's choosing to be very hypercritical of you at this point in time. Or this person, they, okay, so here's the thing what I'm hearing. They haven't been trying, or whomever I'm reading for, whomever you're dealing with, could be you, could be a person, or you could be a third party, I don't know. Whomever I'm reading for here, what they're saying is, I will never know what could have been with this person if I don't at least try to heal it. Because I didn't give them a fair opportunity nor chance because I was dealing with cancer. Which is going to make you very upset. Right? So, so, and I feel like because you're upset, you might tell this person, well, if you don't choose me, then you'll lose me. Um, if you don't choose, you don't tell them, I'm going to tell them. If you don't choose me, I'm going to tell them. That's when this person makes the confession. Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The confession is, you know, you, yeah. This is what this person is saying. I was not committed. Maybe this is someone telling you this. I was not committed. I was not fully invested in the commitment. I was not honest in the commitment. I I am now, but I wasn't then. Show me that. Show me more. Virgo energy again. Yeah, four of coins in the upright. They're going to confess why they were holding back so much to either you or somebody else that they were not committed to that person and they're going to tell you who, they're going to tell them that it was you that they were messing around with or you know or this is you know what you're telling someone if you had a third party or your person is doing that so i don't know how to explain it it's somebody here that they're confessing why they've been holding back it's because of this and they're t they could also be tell they're telling you it seems like that's what they're that's what they're saying they're telling you I will never know what could have been between me and person that they already in a relationship with what could have been with them if I don't at least try to heal it you know what I mean and what that tells me is that that person still the person you're thinking of or dealing with still loves that person And if you've done magic on this person, love spells or whatever, please know that, um, let's say you did get this person, you will always know in your heart of hearts that you had to manipulate this person. You had to manipulate their energy. You had to manipulate their free will, you, um, you know, to get them to, to, to be with you. It wasn't genuine. It wasn't a genuine choice. Um, if no judgment, if you are manipulating that person and any emotionally, it doesn't have to be energetically or with magic, you could, could be just emotionally or would give them ultimatums like that or bail threats and they end up choosing you, you will always know that you had to manipulate this person to choose you and they will remember that too or whomever, but they're confessing to the person about why they were holding back because they weren't committed. Yeah, the star... But they do want to heal it. Now, if you, if this is what happened, your person did this to you, they want to heal it with you. And they're telling the third party that they're choosing the main person. So somebody here who's had a third party is letting go of that third party, going back to the main person or staying with the main person and actually wanting to heal that. But they're also going to confess the truth. They're going to make it very, very aware because they still, they've been holding on to hope that things would work out between the two, the two of them and the past person while holding on to a, um, a, holding on to a main person and holding on to a side person. This is where they finally make the choice. Or you do. They know they're going to have the, mm -hmm, yeah, four of swords in the upright. They understand that 
they don't want to sleep on forgiveness. They don't want, they've been sleeping and like pulling back their energy and betraying the main person or somebody, whomever has the third party has been betraying the main person for a third party. This is where they make the decision and they realize that it, there is a strong possibility that they could get left. But they don't want to live a lie and there, are, it seems like this person has been taking it out on the, on the main person for their misdeeds, for their infidelity, for their lies. Because they're mad at themselves and ashamed of themselves. They have so much guilt that's eating them up. Like eating them alive. Because they're living a lie and they know it. And they're watching their person live a lie. And they know that. Whether the main person knows or not. And they don't feel like it's fair so they want forgiveness and they want to they want to see if they can't be really healed and they want to lay the past problems or issues to rest finally and move forward because ultimately they still love that person whomever i'm reading for okay i hope that makes sense like what the hell okay i thought like there's something going on with neptune but i'm not really sure right now because okay Yep, see, what they don't see coming is communication coming in with the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries here. There's a lot of passionate communication. Passionate communication could be anger or desire that they don't see coming. This could also be traveling from a distance coming back, right? Showing up somewhere. That's what they don't expect or what you don't expect. They've been thinking about this. They don't want to wait to say this to you or they don't want to wait to say this to someone anymore no see they have to reject this ace of wands reverse aries leo sagittarius they have to reject it they have to because they're going to live their life if let's say they chose you or whomever the person who has the third party they have to they they feel like they have to choose the main person because if they don't and they don't at least try to heal it and be honest and try to have an honest life with that person they're in, and they end up choosing the third party, they're always going to live with regret and then eventually resentment and eventually bitterness because the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You know what I mean? They still have hope. They've been holding on to hope. You could also be holding on to hope that somebody here is going to leave a wife for you. I don't see them doing that though. Or someone's holding on to hope that you're going to leave somebody for them. Show me the Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, Nine of Cups in the upright. That's what they wish. They you you do make them happy. See, the Nine of Cups is like the Star card, but at a smaller version. So both parties, whomever has the third party and the main person, they see both people as somewhat of a wish fulfillment. They like a lot of qualities about both people, but they can't have both people. So they know that they have to pick one they're choosing it looks like they're choosing the main person okay what about this moon card in the recent past uh, which is the beginning part of june 2024 show me this moon yeah three of swords in reverse this person has been hiding pain from their main person that they're looking back to They have also been lying that they weren't cheating. They actually were. Or you were. Or your person was, right? And that's the illusion. Say so this is the thing that this person is trying to tell you or, or tell somebody. Third part, whomever the third party is. There's someone here who's going to tell a third party, listen. Yeah, I do see you as like a wish fulfillment. But you're not the main person. And I will never know if it what could have been with the person that I originally chose because I've been too busy focusing on romantic uh, third parties and not putting all my effort and time and energy into that relationship and I'm watching them live a lie and I'm living a lie and I'm punishing them for that that's not justified and if I was to choose you or whomever the third party is then 
I will live with that regret for the rest of my life because I didn't give everything I had to the person that I still love. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know where you... So, it, mm, you are not going to want to hear this, honey. I don't know where you're at. You could be the main person getting chosen. The, the husband, the wife, because I feel like it's committed. Right? In some form or fashion. You could be... You know, the person who has the third party having to tell your person this. Or your person is having to tell you this. You know? Or you are the third party. Tell me more about that. See, yeah, Will of Fortune in reverse. They are saying, it. ever since I've been living this lie with my, and making, and forcing my person to live in the lie as well, when they are intuitively picking up on the truth. And they're right. And I'm having to gaslight them and blame them and to, in order to try to justify my lies, my, my infidelity, my, my really bad choices. And I've started experiencing the negative karma of what I've been doing to this person. And I, I, I love that. I still love them. Sagittarius energy or any fixed sign. So that could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. You know, I'm hearing some, everybody does well with, or everybody does best or works best with the truth. Because people can make well-informed decisions from that truth. Without that truth, they can't make decisions in any aspect of their life. So, and in order to, to be you know authentic you have to be very real with yourself and the you have to be very real with other people you have to be able to give the truth know the truth in yourself first give the truth to others and receive that truth from other people to live an authentic life especially if you want to live a, a purpose driven life you have to do things with the utmost integrity yeah see eight of cups this person is telling you or telling somebody they were trying to escape karma while creating more of it by dealing with a third party. You Again, you could be the third party. You could be, you know, the main person. You could have had the third party, right? Somebody here was trying to escape thinking that jumping from a relationship while going to another relationship while they're still in one. And not doing things the right way and not being honest and didn't give that main relationship the primary relationship that was existing before a third party one existed an opportunity was going to go in their favor they're trying to outrun their karma and that's just not how that works and they're realizing that now and they realize they still love that person whomever I'm reading for and that they have it, it's they there's still hope and there can be healing, but they have to put everything they got into it, right? And they have to be honest. And for some of you, you could be giving this person an ultimatum. You know, you tell them or I will, or choose me or I'm going to tell on you kind of stuff. But that's manipulation and control. That's power and control issues. That's weaponizing it. It's trying to force somebody to, for, forcing somebody to make a decision that they don't want to make. Now, I'm not saying a cheater should get away with it. No, I, I don't. However, they never do, by the way. Okay, let me just be very clear. Rather, it's the person who had a third party, right? Or the third party that knew that they were a third party and that the person had a main person that they're helping this person portray. Yeah, no, it's just not good for nobody. So this is very upsetting. This is, it's your birthday reading. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, but I just want you to know that there's still love out there, though, okay? In July, with the Two of Cups in reverse, that can talk about a breakup, right? So, and I would say to honor, if this is, you're getting broken up with, or you are the one who's finding out that your person cheated on you with the third party, or you're having to tell somebody that you did this to them. If it does separate, because I, do, I don't necessarily have a complete divorce, necessarily, it could be. 
you have to honor your feelings. Either way, everybody gets hurt. Everybody gets hurt. Let me just put it that way. Third parties are bullshit. I mean, they're, they happen so much, but nobody is unscathed. Nobody. Not even the third party. Even though they, they knew, that if they, especially if they knew, and I feel like whomever I'm reading for was a third party, or the, whomever the third party is, knew very well that they were messing with a married man or woman. Very well. And there's karma with that. They're sharing in that karma. Okay. The person who was actually cheating. I'm not saying we should feel bad for them. But it hurts them too. And, and you know what I'm saying? And the person I'll be in the mo the main person that it destroys. Well, let me put it that way. It's like a death. Not like a like an actual death, but it's like a it is like a piece of like a piece of you dies. Like you know what I mean? It is like a death. It's very pain. It's more painful for the person who was betrayed like that than it is for the the person who did it. And then more, it's more painful that even for the third party who was involved in it. It's the person who was the victim, the true victim, not the third party, not the person who was cheating. No, it, the main per, the main person who was being betrayed behind their back, who was being betrayed, is the actual victim, and it hurts them the most. But nevertheless, everybody does end up getting hurt. And everybody has to heal and accept the consequences. Right? So you look, Eight of Swords and the Empress, he's stuck, yeah, stuck in your head. Or somebody around you is going to be really stuck in their head because they're going to realize, I have been betraying myself, dealing with someone who's married, or I've been betraying myself by cheating on my person. And the person who got cheated on is like, well, wow, like this person really... I don't know who they are. I thought they loved me. I, I thought this was for real. I thought, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's gonna be stuck. Everybody's gonna be stuck in their head. Please take care of yourself. Even, no matter where you're at in this position, if you are the one who got betrayed, you really gonna need a lot of self care. And that doesn't mean you're bad. It just means you're you're very very hurt. And it wasn't your fault. No matter how you cut it. I do not give a shit what anybody says. You do not make your person sleep with somebody else or be with, you know, have an affair or, or sleep with somebody or whatever. You didn't do that. The per, to, if you were the person who cheated, you're going to have to take them lumps. And being defensive about it and trying to justify it, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do that. You need to go to therapy. Okay? All right. And I've been on both sides of that coin, honey. And this has been coming out for a little bit. And I feel like this is when it comes to the precipice. And I feel like it's going to happen before then. It could be happening before, like, the end of June. But the whole, it looks like the whole month of July, everybody's going to be in their head. Feeling, like, trapped in their head about it. But it's self-imposed, right? Not the person who was betrayed. Obviously, there's betrayal trauma. They have, they're going to be very upset. You know what I'm saying? See, look, seven of coins in the reverse. So that somebody, you know, you or somebody else is going to be like, well, I guess I should never invest it in this. Um, someone, a lot of people are going to reap what they've sown about the situation. This is like planting seeds in bad seeds and in, in, in sour soil. And people have to reap what they've sown. But there's a lot of karma here. Yeah, magician. Yeah, right. So somebody here had been paying practitioners, and remember, I told you that earlier, right? Someone had been paying a lot of practitioners here on readings to spy on what the choice was going to be, on magic to be done, and it's backfired. Also, someone could be losing their spiritual gifts here because of this. Or maybe somebody was just doing it themselves. And if that's the case, they're actually going to lose their spiritual. They're going to be like spiritual timeout, pow, pow, right? In spiritual jail, right? Because they abuse their position of power. You know, Virgo, Gemini there. Someone invested a lot, invested a lot of manipulation, a lot of magic, or somebody is going to do that in July to try to get the other person back. But remember, whomever I'm reading for, you do that, and that person still loves that person that main person, past person, whomever it is, you're just going to intensify that love 
because they that's where the heart lies home is where the heart is right so I don't know where you're at in this and, and it, it can really backfire real 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 bad so yeah see six of wands in the upright so somebody here has been trying to manifest or manipulate somebody to give them to reckon it, recognize them as the main person this is where like a side chick side side stick whatever wants to be the main person but the person that they're dealing with still is in love with the main person they see the side person side chick side stick as somewhat of a wish fulfillment sure that they have to reject because ultimately what they see is the main person as their their star their biggest wish come true that they and they're holding on hope for that and they they want to heal it and i know y'all gonna be so mad at me about this we got the knight of wands and we got the page of cups name right so see somebody here it's whomever is being let go of the whomever the third party is they're being let go of and they are not taking it well Because they really believed that even though they knew the main person or that the person they were dealing with was dealing with somebody or married, they really believed that this person was going to choose them. But they also knew about the main person and the likelihood of somebody leaving a husband or a wife for a side chick or side stick and it going well for that relationship is not going to happen. It's so low. Mm -hmm. And the divine is not going to bring you somebody else's husband or wife and have that really go well for you, ultimately. It is so rare. I mean, it, 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 is, it is the exception, not the rule. And we need to get out of, I mean, no disrespect. When I say this, whomever, I, whether it's you, Cancer, your person, or you're the third party, or whomever I'm reading for right now, I mean, no disrespect when I say this. It is delusional thinking to believe that the third party is the empress or the emperor or if they are the third party if you're the third party whomever the third party is believing that they're the true partner they're the true empress or emperor when really they're not because no empress and no emperor would ever entertain being a side chick side stick ever it's a lack of self-respect and self-worth and dignity and integrity. And I mean, no disrespect, whoever I'm reading for, I don't know where you're at in this. And there can be healing. Now, does that mean you will never be an emperor or an empress or whomever you are? Or they will never be? No, absolutely not. But there will be karma. There will be consequences for this. And there has to be a lot of inner work, inner work, right? Into you, you see, right? Into intimacy, into me, I see right and into you I see but to you can't know another person one who doesn't know themselves two you can't know another person unless you've truly met yourself so this is you know you, you, whomever the third party is is not the victim the person who was cheating is not the fucking victim the person who was betrayed like this is 100% the only victim in the scenario and if there's kids involved they are also victims too especially if the family deteriorates or if it, even if it stays together and it gets worked out, but it's going to take a long time. So I'm sure there was a lot of arguments that caused damage. You see what I'm saying? And that's why they, I mean, whatever you believe, I personally believe in God, Mother, Father, God, Goddess, right? Whatever your higher power is, what they bring, what God, the divine brings together, let no man or woman tear apart. When a man and a woman or whatever your preference, woman and woman, man, man, whatever your preferences are, right? What God brings together, they become one. They are one, they are one. And anybody and anything that tries to come in between that and the person who allowed it, you see what I'm saying? It's like you can have a whole ass husband and they not have the spirit of a husband. You can have a whole ass wife and they not have a spirit of a wife. But to think that the third party is the true divine feminine and the divine masculine, the divine didn't bring that shit together. The devil did, basically. Third parties is all about temptation, lust, and desire, passion, power, and control. That's that is not God. That's not that's not divine energy. 
And if it is, it's not the good kind. Right? See? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, that's you. You feel manipulated. You're very, you're very upset. And you may try to manipulate this person to, in July, to take you back. To, by giving them an ultimatum. Okay, well, since you're not choosing me, well, I'm going to tell your wife or I'm going to tell your husband or whatever the case may be that this is what's really been going on behind their back all this time. That's manipulation. That's emotional manipulation and abuse, actually. It's actually very emotionally abusive. Or someone is doing that to you or your person. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Yeah, see? Emperor. Somebody is saying, someone is trying to emotionally manipulate an emperor here who is, who is married. Because you want them, if you're a feminine cancer, you want somebody here to leave their wife and choose you. And you're trying to manip emotionally manipulate them or magically manipulate them, their free will, in order to get them to choose you. With threats, ultimatums, magic, throwing magic at it. Against their will. What I, well, let's see, it looks like, you know. Or if two people are married, we're having an affair. Both parties are needing to choose. They're gonna. Both parties are gonna end up choosing their main persons. Yeah, cherry in reverse because you don't want your main person if you're married. You don't want them to leave you, and this person doesn't want to leave their other person. So you know, strength at the bottom and ten of wands. A lot of courage to face this. It's been overwhelming. It's created so much unnecessary burden than in what it was worth, and I mean no disrespect when I say that. Okay. Okay, there's that. Let's see what else. I hope that helps you. And then I'm going to do some other messages real quick, and then I will do your all sign portion. Anything else, please, that Cancer needs to know just in general? Any, uh, any other messages, please? So just take care of yourself, whomever you are, whether you got cheated on, whether you were cheating, both, whether it's, you know, your person was, or your third party, and you're cheating both, right? Whatever it is, you take care of yourself. And Crosswatcher, you too. And whomever was the one who didn't cheat on anybody or the people who didn't cheat on their partners, they're the true victims. And if there's kids involved, they are too. And that, you know, I don't want to hear, no, I mean, no disrespect, I don't want to hear no fucking third parties talk about how they're the true victim when they're really the not. Mm -mm. That's uh, playing the victim and coming off entitled. That's not cool. I don't fuck with that. Not I mean no disrespect. Yeah, sure you were lied to, but you also bought into the lie. And you were willing, knowing, willing participant in that. So I don't feel bad. I do not feel bad for whomever I'm reading for. Rather, you got cheated on and you didn't have any other third parties, I feel bad for you though. If that's the case, I feel hella bad for you. And I want you to know you're going to be okay. It's not going to be okay for a long time though. Don't get stuck in any of the stages of grief, okay, uh, or healing, because that's that's just not, it's just not going to fare well, but do heal, and don't rush yourself, and don't let whomever cheat on you make you feel fucking guilty, because you're not as healed, and you haven't forgiven them yet, yeah, fuck that, in your time, it's not in theirs, they lost that, and they lost their right to privacy, period, and everybody needs to go to therapy. Now, if you're the person who's a third party, I mean, I don't feel bad if you're not the victim. Or if you're the person who's cheating with somebody, had a third party, or had a third party, and you had somebody, so it's like double whammy there. Yeah, I don't feel bad for you. I can acknowledge your pain, but we have to take accountability for putting ourselves in that situation. Don't blame it on everybody. You know, don't say, well, they told me this, that, and the other. Yeah, but you chose to believe it, knowing damn well. The likelihood of them actually doing it probably wasn't. They didn't make you fall in love with them. They didn't make you believe the lies. That was a choice. You see what I'm saying? A little tough love, but I love you. Because it's time to move forward, right? See, marriage is at the heart of the thing. It's heart of everything. Marriage. Someone's choosing their marriage. Pathway to healing and transformation. Because I'm telling you, somebody, whomever are the, par the party or... Of the person or the parties involved who have significant others like a husband, a wife, whatever, and I feel like it's a marriage thing, 
they are this person is choosing their marriage and if you also had a, a mean person a husband or wife you're choosing your married partner whomever was the one who's married or both part, whomever right and then yeah and because they want to transform this yeah look poverty and great fortune they realized that they had a lack mentality they didn't appreciate their blessings this is somebody who realized that they were treating their person like they were nothing the main person when really their main person was really the blessing whomever I'm waiting for but they they were fumbling it a blessing that doesn't fare well with, with the universe and with the most high that does not fail farewell okay mm -mm. someone still has the marriage in the heart to that person or to you know whomever right see mature man in the past okay recent past in June they realized that they were imp imp pretending to be something that they weren't at that time mature and stable and this that and the other when really they were anything but that you didn't know how they were treating their main person at home you have no idea you only got the representative the parts of them that they wanted you to see and vice versa right how can you expect a person who's having an affair with you whatever who's lying to the main person lying to themselves trying to justify it how do you expect them to be really honest with you that doesn't make any sense and y'all can be you're very hard workers you're very smart you're very intuitive and empathic but where was that empathy for the person who was getting betrayed where was that empathy for that person because you wouldn't want it done to you right see toil and labor they know may they or maybe they got some type of guidance from someone that maybe they've been thinking about yeah working very hard to keep this concealed hidden always talking about oh i'm working or i'm always texting somebody from work or, you know this is all about work but really they were texting you or you were texting them or or your person was doing that to somebody and they could it could have been a fair at work honestly so someone worked very very hard to try to keep this concealed but it, it can't be concealed anymore yeah high honor they realize that they have not been doing the honorable thing in july they realize they worked so hard right to what to to bring dishonor to themselves and their person the main person husband or wife someone is like about to get their, their somebody's phone is blowing slap the fuck up in july because somebody here a third party wants somebody here to choose them and that's not what's happening and they're not happy about it let's see tell me show me the marriage and cancers i have to be honest with you okay well i'm honest i'm pretty brutally honest but let me say it let me put it this way what i'm about to say is no dig at all cancers because not all cancers are the same what I have noticed about some cancers, y'all tend to think, not all of you, not all of you, because you're so loving and nurturing that you should automatically be chosen. But you put yourself in situations that you give, 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 give to, knowing in your heart of hearts that they're probably not going to get back to you at all, and you're probably not going to get chosen, and then you get resentful and bitter and you want revenge because you didn't get chosen, but you're not taking accountability for the fact that you put yourself in that situation willingly you see what i'm saying and just because you're very loving and nurturing and caring um and all that kind of stuff that is your stereotype of your sign but was it very caring to do this to a person that you've never probably met or if you do know then that makes it even worse anybody can justify anything and how would you act if you were being portrayed like this how would you act right see you want the marriage to end someone could also be married to a scorpio yeah war drums or marching the beat of your own drum what about the pathway yeah luck so somebody here is trying they've gotten lucky so far but they're moving towards the main person because they want things to change poverty and lady like they can't do this to this person good man right with great fortune they can't do this there could be a woman here cheating too there's communication that's coming right 
there could also be a husband that uh, talked to, um, let's say if you're a feminine cancer, you could have been having an affair with a married man while you're also married, right? A husband figure could have talked to you about this or something. Or a husband figure talked to that person. Or this is where, if you have a father figure, grandfather in spirit, uh, earlier this month, you might have had a dream about this person. You got some type of maybe psychic dream. What is that about? Show me the phone. Yeah. Yeah. They were telling you to make a decision. If that's not the case, then this is, you know, someone had to make a choice. That's the choice that they made in the beginning of June. Yeah, they chose to go to go where the heart is, and it seems like it's with the past person. You're very mad, though. What about in July? Toil and labor. They want to keep whatever. Yeah, they want to keep whatever communications about you about work. They want to keep it there. They don't want to talk about any message. Yeah, whatever was hidden about y'all secret communication has been discovered or will be discovered, or more details will come out about this in July whomever right and someone's spot or their honor is blown to smithereens yeah okay we got tombstone yeah somebody's honor is done it's over bridge and medicine someone is addicted to getting I feel like there's a third party here I don't know where you're at in this who wants the other person to choose them so bad that they are obsessed with it to the point of doing something fucking crazy cannon blowing up I'm telling you someone's obsessed with blowing up someone's spot and it's a third party which I'm not saying they didn't deserve it but it's not gonna yield the outcome yeah because they want the offer yeah you might have been to this person's house or you will be going to that person's house or they're coming to yours somebody okay you want to expose somebody's games time right or speaking about this you want to put your foot down but you're trying to put your foot down in secret with this person so I'm just saying, be mindful of that. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't do anything. What I'm saying is you got to take accountability for yourself, right? Also, side message too. Um, somebody for, in the military, you could be getting a call from the military. I don't know what that's about. In July. Someone is constantly blowing up someone's phone. So somebody's going to block the other person or just cut them completely out. I feel like it might be you or your person's cut off with their party or you are or you're being cut and they're blocking you completely. Because you could be blowing up their phone because you're very, very, very triggered and very, very upset. And there's a level of obsession here for somebody. A third party is very obsessed with getting what they want. If they, It's like kind of like that energy. If, they, if third party is telling, you know because they didn't get chosen well if I can't have you nobody else can because this is what you told me that's dangerous that's very dangerous <sighs> for whomever is thinking that way okay all right let me do your all signs portion let's put this back in one second all right let's see all right hold on okay let's see all right, let's see. Cancer versus all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces in that order, please. Um, cancer versus all 12 zodiac signs from Aries to Pisces, okay? Thank you, Spirit and the Divine. Let's go. All right, so if you're dealing with an Aries, talking phase and fear of commitment. So if this person feels like you have a fear of commitment or they do, y'all are talking about that. Maybe they're begging you or you're begging them to take you back or they're begging you to take them back, okay? Um, if you're done with a Taurus, they, they're they very intimidated by you and you make them very anxious. So you're very anxious about a Taurus. 
you're dealing with a Gemini relationship, okay, and just friends. So there it is. Relationship, oh, we're just friends, right? We're just friends. You could be telling somebody that to a Gemini or Gemini's telling you that, but if you got to put just in front of it, it's justification to downplay the actual connection, and there's a lot more going on than that, right? All right, if you're done with another Cancer, or this is you, or your situation, controlling. I'm telling you, you're trying to control control it, or you're trying to control what somebody chooses, and gaslighting. Ultimatums, bell threats, that's angry. Mm -mm. Cancer, somebody here feels like you're trying to control them and gaslight them, or or you feel that way about somebody else. Somebody here is trying to give some, trying to control somebody via gaslighting to get them to choose them. One more, there, somebody's very non-monogamous. New beginnings. It's like you want that new beginning so fucking bad, or they do, or I feel like you want it really, really bad. You're willing to do whatever you got to do to get it. That's dangerous mode of thinking. Okay, a lot of very control tactics. Okay, overly. You feel like you're owed because you you create you put yourself in that situation. It's a relational debt that now you won't pay back on it because you feel unappreciated. But you put yourself in that situation or whatever, right? If you're on Leo, they are shocked by something. Marriage. They are shocked by your marriage or something like that. X. Or they feel like you're shocked that they are choosing their ex or a main person. One more proper date okay they want to properly date a main person that they're married to and they want to validate their feelings all right or they're shocked by you doing that okay if you don't want a Virgo engagement okay that could be they could be getting engaged or maybe they want to propose to you single though okay maybe you're not gonna be single if you're done with a Virgo they could be popping the question to you or they're dealing with somebody else and they're popping the question to them I don't know where you fit into that Dealing with a um, Libra acting crazy. Someone who's about to lose their shit. The chase. Because somebody's going to be very, very mad, very, very angry and flip their shit because they wanted, um, you wanted a Libra to chase you. They're not doing that. Yeah, third party. Chase the third party. You want that person to chase you. That They're not doing that. Mm -mm. Nope. Alright, if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Social media, okay, ignoring. So there's, you could be ignoring a Scorpio via social media, or they are definitely ignoring you. Casual relationship. They don't want that. Or you think a Scorpio is ignoring the fact that y'all, you and their person's having a casual relationship via social media. Used. But Scorpio could have made you feel used, or you did use a Scorpio to get to the person or use them cross board, okay? Or, okay, one more, and cheating. Use cheating to betray them. Okay, so if you betrayed a Scorpio, I don't know what to tell you, honey. That's fucked up. Um, or if they betrayed you, that's also fucked, okay? If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, we got boyfriend, girlfriend. We got hookup. So this person maybe promised you boyfriend, girlfriend. But they really just wanted a hookup, okay? If you're dealing with a Capricorn, which is your opposite sign, uh, they got they feel like you got a lot of trust issues, honey, or they do, and bad intentions. So this person doesn't trust you because they feel like you got bad intentions, or you don't trust a Capricorn because you feel like they got bad intentions. If you're doing Aquarius, they want to apologize to you. I'm sorry, I'm blocked, but they can't because they're blocked, okay? If you're dealing with a Pisces, blindsided, they they're gonna be blindsided by something, by flirting. Pisces is going to be blindsided by you flirting with somebody else. And, yeah, they're going to see that. What are you doing? Because they're, they're going to see it's a lot of disrespect. And that's, if you did, okay, if you did that to a Pisces, they feel very disrespected by you. If they did it to you, you feel very disrespected by a Pisces, okay? Okay. Let's shift this energy. It's going to be a very emotional birthday season, it seems like. And you might need a good bit of sleep, okay? All right, let's see. Who could you possibly be dealing with? And I'll do your um, guidance. Who could Cancer possibly be dealing with? We can be dealing with a Gemini, Capricorn, 
Leo to be involved. Aries. Libra. Aquarius. And Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, a Leo Aquarius, um, a Capricorn, a Libra, a Gemini, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Your chart could also be in your chart, their chart, combination. Uh, anybody who may know about this, their chart as well, or combination, right? All right, let's see. Let me give you some guidance that you will need during birthday season, and then I'll get guidance that you may not may not want to hear, but you might actually really need, okay? All right, let's see. Give me some guidance, please, for cancer regarding this reading for the birthday season. We got garden beds. Number 11 says, sometimes it's difficult to see how hard you're working when you don't provide space for reflection. Number 11, which is the master number of intuition, but also November, which is um, Scorpio or Libra Scorpio energy. Or, I'm sorry, November would be Scorpio Sagittarius energy. There's that. Let me see the guidance that you don't realize you need, but you will. You may not want to hear it, though. All right, show me the guidance, please, that Cancer will need during their birthday season or Crosswatcher. Whomever I'm waiting for. But they don't realize they need it and may not want to hear it. For their birthday season, please. What's the guidance, please? Third Harvest, 38, which is also 11. This is an opportunity. You're being invited to, to heal, to learn, to change. And I know everybody likes to think that they're perfect and that they're always in the right and they're always been done wrong. But sometimes it's us that's done people wrong too. And we need to take accountability of that. And we, if we help somebody do that, then we need to take accountability of that too. No one is perfect. And it's not about perfection. It's about progression. One more for what they, the guidance that they may need but I don't really want to hear it. Like This is kind of like reaping what one is sown kind of scenario. Ancestors, see? Number three. Let's see what the guidance is. Okay, number 11. Garden bed says keywords working smarter, resourcefulness, evaluating progress. And it says... Having a home garden is hard work, but there are ways to work smarter and make the most of the spaces you have with the use of, of garden beds. They raise your garden up, making things a little easier on your knees, help to keep critters out, allow you to control the soil content, reduce weeds, and provide more growing space. It's a much easier way of setting up your home garden, especially if you are a beginner who doesn't have the know-how to tackle more challenging growing areas. Will it guarantee success? No. But it's always a good idea to work smarter, not harder. This card questions how productive you have actually been. Are you doing a lot of busy work but actual, uh, but achieving very little? Are you taking extra steps or making simple mistakes that are easily avoided? Take a look at your progress to determine whether you are actually making any progress. You could be wasting your efforts on something that isn't worth your investment. If you're happy with where you are, consider how you can be more methodical in your approach. Now might be a good time to hire an assistant, implement a system to increase input, or consider el uh, eliminating something so you can focus all your energy into something else. Drawing this card can also mean you're wasting a lot of time trying to learn skills when you could enroll in a class or work with someone who has the experience to help you cut through a steep learning curve. Very strong lesson. Even talk about therapy, right? There's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame in it. It's actually really good self help, uh, self care. Okay. Number thirty eight. Let's see. Let me just find it. All right, and it talks about gathering, abundance, and preparation. All right, remember this is, and it says, The da daughters of the woods fill thy sacred swell with uh, suppleness. Taste the gathering of honey's milk, filling your emptiness, right? 
and it says Samhain served as a practical is it? practical holiday that told our ancestors, which you have that card out here, to prepare for the coming of winter. The third harvest was a time to gather up the remainder of the crops to prepare and store them to have enough food to last the harsh conditions. The last of the wheat could be ground to flour. The remains of fruits and vegetables would be pickled and canned and meats salted. Everything with a shelf life was stored in underground cellars and packed with ice. Though winters might be harsh and gathering up food is hard work, there is a feeling of abundance and pride in getting prepared. Imagine looking at your food stores and seeing a physical representation of your work. Imagine seeing the abundant rewards of planting your seeds and nourishing them as they grow. We are lucky that we no longer have to face these conditions in the modern world. Refrigerators and grocery stores make it easy for us to have food all year long. Perhaps that is why the overall idea of preparation is no longer as important to us. If you are holding the third harvest, you are being guided to gather up your accomplishments to celebrate your wins. Take a look at everything you've done and achieved. Make a store of the winds to come back to whether you are feeling low or like you failed. The easiest way to attract more abundance is to feel abundant. Having this stockpile of feel good moments will kickstart you and can help turn around feelings of lack or stagnation. Right? Now with the ancestors card number three. Your, an your ancestors are saying like this is what you cultivated this is what's happening or what somebody cultivated here this is what they're getting back in return you see what i'm saying so this is like a big lesson here honestly and i'm not here to judge you i love you okay but this is a lesson that needs to be learned we all have our lessons right we gotta get our lessons before all of our blessings right and why would the divine give you a lot of blessings right and bless a connection to come together that started off in deception pain betrayal and you know destruction why, why would that be blessed you know what i'm saying and protection it says protection and guidance right that's the overall and it says your ancestors are always with you protecting you they they told me to read this also in reverse as well for some reason okay let's see it says your ancestors are always with you protecting you they watch over you and keep you from harm's way they are present they, they are present telling you that it is safe to go forward and you absolutely need to you feel them with you they also protect you from things you cannot see like someone trying to put a hex on you or someone or this could be someone who else is being protected from this someone who is talking about you behind your back these threats never make it to you because your ancestors have protected you without you having to ask they want what is best for you and they love you unconditionally rest easy you have chosen this card because you are being protected and guided even if you can't see them everything that has brought you here has been for a purpose there is some lesson blessing or miracle in every situation you've ever faced good or bad trust in those who watch over you know that there are thousands maybe millions of your ancestors who have walked before you sharing their love wisdom and protection be sure to thank them because you wouldn't be here <clears throat> you wouldn't be here if it if they hadn't walked their hardships one second all right i'm back sorry about that <clears throat> before you, um the hardships before you many have lived and died laughed and suffered and sacrificed so that you can be here honor your ancestors by trusting them to watch over you call on them when you feel alone or afraid or give your fears to them allowing them to hold you as you walk your path through life now they told me to read in reverse and it but it did come out in the upright okay <clears throat> i don't know why it says you have pulled if you pulled this card in reverse it would say in reverse because the answer you seek is with your ancestors they are waiting for your call sometimes we energetically shut ourselves off from our spiritual team and they are not able to send guidance in a way that can be received we block their help you can invite them back with intention. I do this by asking my ancestors and guides for a parking space. It might seem silly, but being playful is really appreciated by your spiritual team. Open the channel to their healing and call on your ancestors as often as you need to. No situation is too great or too small for their wise counsel. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I think that's it. No, they told me to get this one. Okay. Last card of guidance, I gotta go. Last card of guidance, please, for Cancer for their birthday season. Now, again, this could be 
your person learning a very hard lesson because they had a third party. Could be, you know, you learning a hard lesson because you had a third party, or you could have been a third party. Okay. But it will be learned. Okay. As long as you learn it and then demonstrate the lesson that you've learned it and don't repeat it again. You know what I'm saying? Guidance piece for cancer for the for the birthday season, please. Okay. We got succulents and resilience. Okay. <clears throat> Number 38. Also another 11. So 11, 11, 11. And 3. Okay. And it says, main, uh, mainly recognized as a common house plant. Succulents are also known for thriving in difficult conditions. They store water in their leaves, stems, and roots, which allow them to thrive long after they've been tended. <clears throat> this card represents a long-term planning, tenacity, and endurance it, ta it takes to develop resilience. Take advantage of your own inner reserves of mental and physical resilience in challenging times to remain calm and collected in the face of crisis and confusion. When you tap into this, into this re uh, reserve, you are gaining valuable skills and learning important lessons about your limits. <clears throat> this is also the energy of longevity and wanting something long-lasting. Set your intentions for a career, relationship, or situation you like to see in the long run. Keep striving for what has been placed on your heart. Stay healthy by watering yourself with love and care. Despite everything you have endured thus far, you continue to bloom. Additional meaning says, enduring love, discovering your inner strength, good fortune is coming your way, current endeavors will be long-lasting, growth sparked by adversity, and receiving a gift, making future plans. So, in order to get your lesson, in order to get your blessings, you got to learn your lessons. Or crosswatcher. Or really, it's everybody. Honestly. Alright, and that, my dear, is what I got. I hope that helps you. Happy birthday. Don't be mad at me. Obviously, roles can be reversed. Take what resonates. Don't make it if it doesn't, right? I love you um, so much. Happy birthday again. Many blessings to you. And take care of yourself. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hashtag tarot and or tarot reading because I'll pick the winners for June on the 30th. I love you. Until next time. Bye. Happy birthday.